also has many achievements, which the game calls medals, that are bestowed on a player for improving and setting incredible scores. Some require you to FC a specific map, others require you to play with a certain mod combination, and some require you to get a specific amount of misses on a particular map. Most ways of obtaining these medals are very obscure, but thankfully, Osakai.net has a solution to obtaining these medals. But regardless of their weird completion requirements, none of these medals are harder to obtain than the unfathomable medal. On June 19th, 2020, Osu released four new medals to test on Osu player's skill, the 9 and 10 star pass and FC medals. Unfathomable is the name of the 10 star FC medal, and as you might have guessed, requires a player to FC a 10 star map. Osakai's medal rarity leaderboard ranks Unfathomable as the rarest medal in the game, with 0.00% of players who unlock the medal. But does that mean there are no 10 star FCs? Well, there are actually a few 10 star FCs. Oh my god! That's my first 10 star! What? In fact, there's even a 10 star SS medal by Badu on Spaz's wine glass cover of Kami no Katoba, but despite this, he doesn't have the Unfathomable medal. A hidden requirement for the Unfathomable medal, and all the other star difficulty related medals, is that the play must happen on a ranked map. Unranked or loved maps don't count, and as you can tell, this map isn't going to make it past the ranking criteria anytime soon. So let's rephrase the question. Are there any 10-star FCs on ranked maps? Well, yes. The most recent 10-star FC, and the one you're probably most aware of, is MREX FC on Choo Choo Lovely with Double Time. The score is nuts, requiring extremely fast and snappy aim on 390 BPM jumps. This FC earned him 1,095 PP, which is his 9th top play. Now let's check his profile and... Where's the 10-star FC medal? He hit all the notes, didn't drop combo, and this map is ranked, so what happened here? Unfortunately, there's a second hidden requirement for the FC medals in specific. To obtain the medal, you have to obtain a perfect combo on the map. This means you can't drop a single slider end throughout the entire map, otherwise you will not get the medal. Sadly, in this play, there were two drop slider ends, and thus the medal was not awarded. Well that sucks, but we should keep looking. Let's rephrase the question again. Are there any 10 star FCs on ranked maps where the player gets the maximum possible combo? The answer to that is also yes. Another 10 star FC that you have probably seen is Badu's play on C-Type. This hard rock double time flashlight play was so ridiculous, I couldn't believe that this was possible in the first place. And neither can these people. I mean, it's f***ing CS8. The goddamn cursor's the same size as the circles. And you can't see anything. How did he do this? Anyways, unlike Emrex play, Badu did in fact get the maximum combo. Surely now he has the medal, and it's not here. Okay, now there is no excuse. He played a 10 star map, got a perfect combo, and he has no medal to show for it. What is the explanation this time? Well, technically, this play is not a 10 star FC. How? Well, at the time, with DTHRFL, this map was only 9.66 stars. Since the play was set, new reworks adjusted star rating. More specifically, Flashlight has been given a star rating buff not too long ago. While the map with these mods might be 10 stars today, it wasn't a 10 star map at the time. Thus, this play was not a 10 star FC and no medal was awarded. Man. But okay. For the third time, let's rephrase the question. Are there any FCs on ranked maps where the player gets the maximum possible combo on a map that was 10 stars at the time the play was set? The answer is yes, and it so happens that it's on the same map set. Feast your eyes on this. This touchscreen play by Goink meets all the criteria for the 10 star medal. This map is ranked, it was 10 stars at the time the play was set, and although the accuracy isn't great, a perfect combo was achieved, and she was rewarded with the 10 star medal for her efforts. Funny thing is, with the current way star rating is calculated, this map is only 9.68 stars with double time hard rock. But all that mattered for the medal to be awarded was that the map was 10.08 stars at the time, and so Goink sits as the first player to earn the unfathomable medal. She might have been the first one to obtain the medal, but as many other players have shown, I doubt she won't be the only one with the medal for that much longer. 